G'day guys, Ron here from Osborne Digital Marketing. Today I'm going to show you how to choose keywords for SEO. So let's jump into it. Now, as you can see behind me, I have glorious Google. Now, you want to begin when you're looking to choose keywords for SEO, you want to begin by thinking about the purpose of that keyword you're going after. So you need to start here. This is the very first start of the process. You need to think about what's the aim of that keyword. What are you trying to achieve with that keyword? So as an example, if you're trying to create a page that's going to drive sales, that keyword needs to be structured in a way that could drive sales. Like you don't want to put in, in utilize an informative keyword for that purpose of trying to drive sales. It won't work. You get some, but not a lot. You need to think about what you're trying to do when you're trying to choose this keyword for SEO. You need to really think about the end purpose of the keyword that you're looking to create. So as an example, I have just grabbed best hiking boots for summer. That's a keyword that we're going to look at you know, structuring around. Perhaps we're, we're looking at choosing this keyword to go out there and create some sales pages. We're looking at trying to drive some uh, sales into our hiking boots. So let's say you're an affiliate marketer or whatever it is. It's vitally important that you always remember that. Start with Google and start with the intent of what am I trying to do with my keyword? When you're trying to choose the perfect keyword for SEO, you will create a page. Now on that page, Google is going to rip out a lot of keywords that it will rank you for. That's just how it goes. If you've got a great piece of content, that's what will happen. So when you're doing this, when you're trying to choose the keywords for SEO, you want to think about the end goal. I can't stress that enough. Look at Google and think and start from there. So this is the idea that I've thought, uh, let's just say I've, I've got a hiking website, I'm, I'm all about boots and I'm like, how else can I make some more sales? I'll cover something on summer. You know, let's just say that. So that's what I've done now. So uh, I throw this into Google and this is where you start. You always start with Google, always review Google and have a look and see what's being displayed. So you wanna have, let's have, let's have a scroll down and have a look. See what types of posts are being displayed, okay? because not only you should be looking at all of the other metrics with keywords, the volume and all of that, which we get to later, but you should be starting here because the SERP will immediately tell you if it's even worth going after that keyword or not. It's not always about volume that's important. If, you, if a keyword has 10 people that visit your site, but you can convert five of them every single month and those sales are perhaps $500 each affiliate, I'm happy with that. I don't care if there's five people compared to 5,000 people coming. So you always need to consider that. That's why I start with the SERP. So have a look. So a couple of things that we can notice, first of all, is that it's not pulling in summer. Okay, that's the first thing to start looking at. The second, the second one is best summer hiking boots, best hiking boots 2022. So as you can start to notice, okay, so Google is placing an emphasis on the year 2022 2022 2022 this is something to pick up when you're trying to choose keywords for seo really really start to take note of what google's rewarding because that's what we want to emulate so that's the second step we want to have a look we want to see now what we've learned from this is that okay it looks a bit listically you know uh, listical you know we need to create a listicle style post so let's go have a look that's what they're looking like best normally six best you can start to see that uh it's looking like that's how it's going to be structured so you want to have just a quick look at your competitors and see how they've got it all structured let me just zoom out a little bit of this so you can start to see okay yep it's going to be listy here yep. so that's number one what's number two like Same thing, exactly the same thing. So when you are trying to choose the keywords, see what SERPs, the SERP is rewarding. Now it's time to go across and have a look at the tools. So this is where we can go, okay, we've had a look at all of this. We've seen what style of content we would have to create. And again, that's why this is important. Perhaps you're not good at writing this style of content. Perhaps you don't wanna write listicle posts. You don't wanna have that structure, that's not you. Maybe it's not worth it. You see how much work has to be done. You see that these posts are huge, very detailed. Immediately, it doesn't matter about the volume. It doesn't matter about anything else now. You'll be able to tell me 
if it's you go to the next step because when you're trying to choose the right keywords there's a lot of a lot of steps in place so from here what we want to do now is we want to jump across over into SEMrush so let me just close I'll need them for later so I can show you some examples but right now we want to just jump over let's go to keyword overview so this is SEMrush you're gonna need it you're gonna need something like this you can utilize something like shine ranker I have a link to it. it's a bit cheaper than this obviously but yeah so you just want to go keyword overview throw in your keyword in here and let's see okay so what we're really looking at is a couple of things now we've had a look at the SERP we can do that style of post not a problem uh, we can add all of those images in we can write those types of reviews beautiful but what we want to start looking at now is how actually difficult is that keyword to go after something great about SEMrush is you can scroll down here where it says SERP analysis all right this is where I suggest that you go next because you want to have a look like referring domains not so much that obviously referring domains overall is important but you want to start to see page authority score not a big indication of whether or not you can go after it it's just an idea if you start to notice that there's some zeros, I bet you there was Amazon, Amazon's down the bottom. As you can see, Amazon, just because of the authority of their site, they don't need a, a strong, uh, I was about to say PA, yeah, PA, page authority, SEMrush. Uh, they don't need a strong PA with that because it's Amazon. So they don't need to have a lot of backlinks coming into that page because it's Amazon. So you need to sit here and look and go, Ooh, I need to be, I want to be number one. I've got to have at least 2,500 links, 1,200 links, 113 links. Maybe they're from better sites. So, you know, the higher DRs, the websites, the links going in. Maybe these are, you know, 10 and unders, but this is 100 of solid 60s over. And that's what you'd need to look at. If you can sit here and be like, well, the lowest guy for the keyword that I'm considering has 113 that's uh that's going to cost me a lot of money and it's going to take me a lot of time to build that is it worth going after this keyword and this is when you'll start to determine and you should be when you're looking to choose the keywords for seo you should be looking at this and going okay so it's going to take this many backlinks to do maybe i can't go after this one maybe it's going to be too expensive so i need to look at choosing a keyword for seo that's within my budget from here and you should always do it even if you sit there and go, oh, zero, 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 I can rank for this easily. Have a look at the variations and have a look at the related keywords as well because that's very important. So that's the next step. So what you, what I like to do is you can come up here and go keyword variations if you want or you can come over to the related. I like the related to begin with because this is where the tool like SEMrush is going to sort of combine everything in together and it's going to strip it apart for you and you'll be able to have a look at other variations of the keyword even though it's <laughs> variations is variations but different structures of it utilizing different words so I'm sure that there'll be if we look over there'll be a review somewhere for sure like as an example here's a review here so I can click on that and then maybe maybe it's like best hiking boots good for summer review so if i click on this as an example let's see let's see what comes up so here we go you know this is what you can have a look at eh, it's not really worth going after is it like it's very very difficult again not really you know gospel but you can start to get a picture of how challenging it would be utilizing the word review in there like, nah, nah, i don't want to the other one looked hard enough i don't <laughs> i don't want to make my job even harder so when you're looking to choose the keywords for seo this is where you want to start having a look you really really want to see and let, let, let's start having a look so our originally the keyword it was like 50 searches a month whatever it was it was not it was not high um what was it uh, i can't remember what it was let me open up another i think it was 50. i should have looked at that I, i'm sure it was 50 i just can't remember off the top of my head um 
it was best key uh best hiking boots for summer no, post yeah there we go let's have a look do 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 yeah so 80 percent and 50 so quite quite challenging global volume is 370 so i'm also focusing on the us market here um but anyway like back to this this is where you can start to look and it's like well i've got an 80 difficult keyword and it has like 50 searches in the us you know that that's where you can start to look and go okay well here we go summer hiking boots is there much more of a variation between summer hiking boots and like their best hiking boots for summer not really but as you can see here there's possibly a thousand searches a month and it's 73 again you should not be relying heavily on this type of stuff heavily but it starts to give you an indication of where to go to next so this is something that i'd probably be looking at okay because for hot weather look at that that's a lot easier almost the same amount same amount of uh searches half the difficulty is that worth looking at so when you're trying to choose keywords for seo you need to start looking at all of this and if i was you i'd be exporting all of this so you can simply click this button over here uh, up above my head up here over there click on that export it csv and then you can start to really go through it that's another way you can do it but you can start to really really look at look at some different things again why, why would i go after a 140 when i have this bad boy up here but these are all the types of things that you can actually start to figure out you can have a look at the difficulty you can have a look at how related they are it's best to start with the related percentage so as you can see the column here it's best to start there because if you start there it does tie in the keyword that's more relevant than uh something that's just completely random as as it uh decreases so here we go like rugged hiking boots recommended hiking boots not really we we're focusing on trying to sell a hiking boot that's purpose built for the summer periods so that was our idea so that's where you're starting to have a look you're starting to figure it out so what i would, i personally would be looking at this bad boy right here i'd be looking at summer hiking boots summer hiking boots is where i'd be starting like yes it's not a long tail keyword but at the same time if you're going to invest a lot of money into something you need to make sure that it's going to be worth its world so as you can see like that's a us volume global volume is 2000 and the thing is too this is western countries that's going to which is excellent because if it's things like back home in australia for me a lot of aussies buy stuff from the states and send it back home it's just how it is so that's the type of thing you can sit there and be like wait a minute double 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 global volume like that's actually quadruple so it's ridiculous so you can start to see that let's let's have a look at the SERP let's see what's being displayed as well now again this is just something to look at and consider yeah uh what is it run repeat okay Amazon okay so you've got the big players higher up now okay that is something to consider are most people just going to jump across over to Amazon probably not because they're not really ready to make that jump into the purchase just yet they want to compare products so you might have um, the Murrell or whatever it is, uh, hiking boot going against a different hiking boot. So they'll want to see that. They're not 100% sure or ready to purchase. So would I be stressed about losing out individuals into, you know, into the big marketplaces like the Amazon? No, not really. Because I know for this type of keyword, like summer hiking boots, people are still trying to look it's not as good as best because they're really trying to compare but summer hiking boots there's they're ready to purchase but they still probably would want some information and that's what you need to consider when you're trying to choose uh, keywords for SEO is what is the end user considering when they enter this are they ready to make the purchase or are they still trying to do a little bit of uh, research and if I provide them with the research and with the ability to purchase will everything align and will i be able to generate a sale because that was the aim of this keyword so yeah you want to have a look at that and if you look over here it's like okay well you know 
all the thousands and the big ones, they're still kind of there, but there's some lower ones here. And that is what you really need to look at. You really need to sit there and go, okay, I need to do basically the same amount of work off page as what I would have done with a keyword that was going to have 70 searches. That's what you need to consider. You really, really need to look into, especially, I, I mainly, I, I, to be completely honest, I, re, I rely heavily on the backlink uh, profile of the pages because to me that, it tells me a lot. Like it, it, if it's a lot of money to try and get this stuff in there, if it's a lot of money, well, one, it tells me that it could be actually worth going after that keyword. But the other thing it also tells me is how much money do I need to invest into it? Is it even worth my time? If I have a site that's brand new, should I go after this hard keyword or should I specifically go after a keyword that's even longer tailed? You know, best um, hiking boots for summer um, in North America, you know, or a specific region of Canada or something like that. That is when you can start going longer tail because it might be too hard. So when you are trying to choose the keyword for SEO, that's what you need to consider. The other thing that I would be doing, let's say you've looked at all of this. Now, if I, if, if it was me, if this is my campaign, I'd be rolling with this. This seems pretty good to me. I wouldn't want to waste my time, you know, having a look at all the other stuff. I like this. I'm interested in utilizing this keyword. So what I'm going to do now is exactly the same process that we began with. You literally will go back to Google and see what's being displayed for you because you want to make sure what's being displayed for the keyword that you've changed to is the same. Okay. Same thing. Very, very similar. The school is 2022. Yep. So they've dialed down on the, oh no, still 2022, 2022, 2022. So having the year is quite relevant in there, but you can start to see it's, it's quite similar. The SERP is quite similar for this query. It's not massively different. So obviously individuals are going to uh, land on your page and be ready to make a purchase. So that's something that you wanna be considering. Whenever you start with your seed keyword, just take it from there. Have a look at all of the different, different I guess approaches, the variations and the related keywords. You've gotta go back and have a look at that and you've gotta throw it back in the SERP. Don't just see it on SEMrush or ShineRank or wherever it is and be like, ah, this is perfect for me. That's a cool keyword. The traffic's really good. No, no, no. Go back, throw it into Google and make sure you have a have another look at it. Very, very important. So that's something that you want to do from there. And then another, I'll give you another little trick. Perhaps you're struggling. You don't know how to choose the uh, keyword for SEO. You're really sitting there going, I've got this blog, but I want to write something about hiking boots. I don't know what to write about. I, I can't find, I can't think of a seed keyword. Well, check this out. This is something that you can do, right? You can simply type in the category, be quite you know, broad with it. And what you can do is why, why not scroll down, have a look at this guy, grab this guy, maybe grab this guy as well, or girl. Okay, let's open those bad boys up. Let's close a couple of these down so we don't slow down good old lovely Google Chrome. Come on, Google. So let's open this up. Okay. So what you want to do, why not grab this guy, throw him in here. Okay, let's get rid of that. So I get flat to the root. And now what you can do is you can look at the top rankers for that keyword, the seed keyword that you were looking at. And this is another way you can figure out how to choose keywords for SEO because it happens all the time to us. I mean, to be completely honest, the way I start all of my campaigns is I look at the competitors. I speak with the clients, and with my own web websites and with my own the business like websites that we have, what I do is I first think about, okay, this is a broad category like the hiking boots. I have a look at it, sit back and I go, okay, what's the next step? All right, I don't really know what to write about. Not that, as you saw before, I'm not that familiar when it comes to hiking boots. So what should I go after? I don't know the type of brands or perhaps a different terminology to talk about. So start with the category, be very broad. 
then go after the top rankers for that because if it's the broad category they're going to be quite powerful websites so then what you can do is like you can see here like damn you know <laughs> i think i'm ranking only for well, osborne i think he's doing like six thousand keywords i think ranking for i'm not sure i can't remember what it was it's been a while but damn that's a yeah that's a they're committed they're very very committed but what you can do now is have a look at all of this oh look at that you know is this a um like uh, again i don't know like i was saying before i'm not familiar with hiking boots so is this perhaps something that's a a, a brand of hiking boot because it's relatively easy 30 searches on it should you create that type of post best hiking boots for summer that that was our original keyword so as you can see, like they're number one for that. But what you can start to do when you're really trying to look and, and choose keywords for SEO, have a look at your competitors. Now, if they're ranking number one for that keyword, how do you displace them with a, a bigger and better site? But what you can do is you can go all the way down the bottom. Let's say go, I'm back guys. Unfortunately that uh, I froze and crashed and had to, had to come back, so. <laughs> Uh, apologies about that i don't know what it is google chrome is being very painful with me ever since their latest update so they obviously know know what i'm up to yeah it's just uh how it is unfortunately all right so something that you can do like you can start to look at things that you know they're not doing so well on so you can start to look what what position range that they're in like top 20 top 50 so maybe if we were to sort of look even in 21 to 50, maybe we could create some of those pages even here. So even if you were to look at 51 to 100. So as an example, here you go. This is another way that you can choose keywords for SEO. Like maybe they don't have these pages created specifically for these keywords and you're sitting there here's an opportunity for you a lot of these are quite easy like if you've got a okay site and you do some good off-page stuff you can rank for a lot of these rank for a lot of these black and white snowboard pants they probably don't have a uh, page for this this would just be snowboard yeah best snowboard pants there you go you could beat them and rank for this possibly if you focused on picking black and white snowboard pants and creating a specific page around that, anything supporting around that to sell a product, you can have different comparisons. It's like, let's say, again, I don't know, but let's say it's Nike um, snowboarding black and white pants versus Adidas or versus Puma or something like that. That's what you could do. You know, you could have all of these different comparisons side by side okay so that is something that you could do specifically focused on that like admittedly it's only 50 searches a month but it's a relatively easy keyword it's commercial intent again the sam rush's tool here it's it's, it's okay but the real message behind this and the thing i'm the point i'm trying to get across to you is this is a great way of doing some research on how to choose those perfect keywords for seo because if you think about it like this they're ranking for that keyword in a reasonable position for not having a page around it you know they're doing quite well for it if you were to come along create a page for this specifically perhaps you'll rank number one and you could get a lot of those sales too you could get a percentage of that so that's something to consider now i hope that i have answered the uh, question of how to choose keywords for seo make sure if i have answered that if i've helped you at all it really means a lot to return the favor and uh goes a long way but if you need help or anything like that guys when it comes to your seo make sure that you reach out happy to help and i hope you have a lovely day cheers